What's going on everybody? Finally, look what we have here. The 2022 Sea-Doo Switch. This is your boy's Switch and we're going to be doing a uh, video on this pretty soon on stuff and we're also going to be checking out this on the water afterwards. But anyways, here she is. Here's the payment for it and we're going to be setting this up afterwards. Anyways, pretty excited and we'll see you on the water soon. All right, so she's finally home and there she is this is a cd switch sport compact here is the nice dubs on there it's actually got really nice wheels on this trailer trailer is nothing special it's just steel but cool wheels um this is what it looks like on the back this is what it looks like where the ibr is and the trim tabs which uh, typically you'd see on larger boats, uh, not necessarily jet skis, but this is weird. It's like a jet ski hybrid boat. But yeah, you can see there's the pontoons. Here's the jet ski hole right here, which is interesting. Um, and the pontoons kind of sit off to the side. LED lights, which to be expected, 2022. And there's the rims again. And here's the sides. So uh, what I want to do, which is what I'm going to ask everybody to comment on this video, is what do you want to see with this? What would you like to see with the Sea-Doo Switch uh, Sport Compact? Uh, <clears throat> just close up, personal, stuff like that. Uh, but I'm going to go over just some simple things. But the first is just the introduction to it, which is right here. Uh, and let's hop in this thing. Really cool too. Um, most pontoon boats do this now, but you have steps at least to come up here. So uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you'd see that I've already walked up this thing at the dealership and I might do an introduction on it. So <clears throat> right away, the link system, this is actually kind of strange of a material. I thought this was gonna be like a mat. This is just like plastic. <laughs> I figured it'd be a little higher quality stuff. But yeah, so when you travel with this thing, this is supposed to come down the bimini. So let's go up. Oh storage for the anchor which goes in there which i purchased uh, also everything for this is ungodly expensive so don't expect this to be really cheap this boat although is like relatively cheap for a new boat is still quite expensive so and also the crazy part is you can't actually get into this thing unless you go in underneath the bimini so as you can see right now i'm standing before the bimini you have to go underneath this and then put the bimini up in order to get in here so it's a really weird system where you have to crawl underneath here like this so let's crawl underneath you have to pretty much army crawl and this material is surprisingly not comfortable i thought this was going to be kind of like a pliable material turns out it's just straight up uh plastic so yeah but that's that now we're in the boat so here's the helm which again is kind of like a jet ski so really cool in my opinion i think this is pretty much the coolest thing ever so it does look like this and i do have the garmin fish finder chart plotter gps came with the sport model i was going to buy it anyways but the standard model does not have that and i would have bought it so it's like 1200 bucks so i'm like you know what or 1500 ish so instead of just buying it outright and then putting it on the base model i bought this Another thing is that, the Bimini. I was gonna buy that. Hey, look, install problems already. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, here's the helm. It's, it's everything is plasticky. Don't expect it. So think of new car kind of style. Everything's plasticky in a new car. And this is kind of how it feels. It, I thought it was gonna be more, a little more pliable material, kind of like the seats here. These seats are amazing. They're, they're a type of uh, boat fabric that is uh, very protected from the sun. So these I don't expect to have any big problems with down the line. This is almost like a felt material on top. So that's really higher quality and well done. Um, all this is basically modular. You can move it to the front or back, but I'm gonna leave it in the back because for obvious reasons, it feels more comfortable back here. You know, for a 13 foot boat or 1210, this is re actually really comfortably long um, considering. Can't have more than five people on here and nor do I really expect to have more than five people. The one thing I really didn't like, so let's take it off to sit on here. I didn't like this um, as much. So this little thing, I can't imagine this being comfortable while you're driving down 
uh, for, for, you know, sunbathing purposes, sure. But driving around with this got to suck because you're just banging around. This, this mat is, you know, very thin and not very pliable. So this would suck. But as for like a cool little chill out sun deck, pretty, pretty neat. Um, the helm is in the right spot. It's, it doesn't appear to be modular, but I don't think you can move it because of the steering cables and all that stuff, all the wiring and stuff that goes underneath it. So yeah, let's close this. It's just gonna bang against the side. <clears throat> all right. All right, so how to get this bimini up is not that intuitive either. So this is your lock for the bimini and it comes through here. So it pulls out over there. Same thing over here. Pull that out. It pulls out through here, the back side. So once you have that out, then this kind of folds up. And the really annoying part about this, see, there you go, there's my hand. The really annoying part about this is it's better off to have two people. To have one kind of sucks to do this, but you take the arm right here and you bring it up. You hold on, bring it up. And then here's your locking mechanism right here. But uh, yeah, so that's how that comes up. Very heavy, this thing. There we go. So there was my struggle bug, but it's modular, meaning it comes right up and you don't really have to do much to it, but the good and bad thing about this is it's very heavy duty and it's very well put together. The problem is being that heavy, I, you know, being a relatively strong younger guy, people who are a little bit older on the older side will definitely have trouble putting that up hundred <laughs> percent. So that's, that's a pain in the neck as well. Oh, and here's this, you just lift it and it slides in like any other boat. Okay. So there it is. Seems like a pretty cool boat. It's very small, but also pretty awesome. The nice part about this as well is the Bimini almost covers the entire boat. Almost. It's like, I would say about two thirds of the boat is covered by the Bimini. So that's a really cool thing too. So storage underneath here, Go underneath there, there's your storage. Good amount of storage because it's a pontoon boat and pretty much anything that has any sort of uh, felt material, seat, anything with any sort of uh, cover on it will have some sort of storage. I'm assuming, um, so this is, this is actually pretty pliable too for the cup holder, but so the big part of the storage is actually right here. So let's undo this. Sure, everybody saw this. Of course, I can't read directions, so it's the other way. There it is. Look at the size of that storage in the front. Now, that's actually supposed to be for a battery right there, but this is also for your oars and your lights, and it also has it for um, just anything that you would have put in there as well. So let's uh, let's get this back down. Spin, push, spin, push, locked. So that's that. And uh, I'm gonna do another video on the um, motor and stuff like that, but these two right here pop up to get to the motor. These two in particular, because the motor is pretty centered on the boat itself. So yeah. All right, so another thing is the modular seats. Here's how you pop them out. There's a little light, like a little uh, lever to lift out. You lift it, you pull it, and you put it over here. So yeah, that is the basic version of the 2022 CD Switch. And I was very lucky to pick it up. And uh, I am the first one from that dealer to grab one. There are a few out there right now, but so far from what I hear in this state, there is only uh, dealerships that have their own at the moment, their demo versions. And uh, a lot of dealerships have been kind of hoarding them because they have not gotten them from CD yet. So I have to get it only because this is a Switch Compact Sport, which was the first one they manufactured and shipped out. So that's from just from what I heard. And uh, yeah, so next thing I'm gonna get is the link cooler here. They did not have one. And I'm also going to put a swim platform on the back of this guy. They do not have one by stock, but there are the things for it already back there, the little uh, 
the little uh, modular uh, the little modules that you pull out and put the uh, swim platform in but yeah so that is switch compact sport gonna do another video for you pretty soon just showing a couple more things off and uh we'll definitely get it on the water pretty soon